Um, then we definitely, definitely have uh, bonds falling further, but this is the, the line in the sand I'm watching. All right, so what were some of the themes I talked about yesterday? First, a new one, because it just occurred to me on a monthly when I looked at it. All right, so this is emerging markets and it goes along with the, the fading dollar, okay? This is not just the trillion dollars in equity and China saying, um, you know, to, to ordering state banks to buy their stocks. Um, we obviously came right back down into some support. And that's what I'm looking at right now is kind of a tell that we have this evening star on a monthly, it's even stronger. Um, we need to get above 39.64 and pre-market, we are 39.46. So we're really getting close to pushing higher. And that is basically a dollar trade. EEM has a lot of China equities in it, number one. Number two, it is on three levels of weekly support with a bounce. And I expected the bounce. I don't, I had originally said I don't expect it to get above 39.64. I think that's where the dollar and um, emerging markets are, uh, all of these, right? They're all dollar trades. Uh, might have a little bit of a tussle, but if we break down in the dollar, you're going to see this shoot higher. And already, already, Baba, this was the one stock that I had, um, not not Baba, JD, I had mentioned yesterday, but Baba had already come off the, in, the Keltner channel uh, immediate, immediately Rithika recommended it long because it started getting a lot of uh, call buying. It got above 8281. Obviously, then it struck, restructured itself and popped above. I said, if it stays above 94, all of those indicators are below it. So it has a tailwind. Next level would be that 100 and a half. After that, it'd be 103 and a half. And you can see the same thing, you know, sized up here on the intraday. It did come up to resistance at 99.70. How it closes this week, obviously, is going to be very important for its swing long price target of back up into 110. But with EEM, it is looking bullish. The one that I had suggested yesterday was JD. It was doing the same type of thing that Baba had done before it gapped up. So take a look at this one. See this kind of scooping pattern? Baba had that scooping pattern. Just had a really nice kind of boom. Okay, well, JD just did that this morning. So it was up 7 8% earlier, and now it's kind of um, softening, but it has popped up. And the level that you're looking for is, well, that's on a daily, but needs to get above 42 and stay there. That doesn't look very hard. It did tap 44 on a weekly. Here, we put this here. There we go. Um, perfectly. And so literally it broke above the 42, it tapped 44.18. That's the level it needs to get above. So if you did go into that, just because this emerging market space, mostly China, and then China in particular um, has some activity in it for uh, chases or swing longs, definitely looks like it's working, especially with the dollar fading. That's just number one. So Baba, JD, I could look at others, but for right now, the restructuring is also very important because how do these big, huge, monolithic Chinese companies survive in China? Because literally the, the management is cracking down, right? So they break up. They can't be big. Chairman Xi said, no, no go. We don't want anything big and, you know, monolithic and monopolistic and all of that. Tech companies got hammered by their own government. So now they're saying, okay, fine, we'll split up. They're literally restructuring so that they can make more companies. So anyway, just keep that theme in play. I think that um, China has probably some more to go. And JD had been a laggard. It had not really, look at this, it had moved off October when state banks were ordered to buy, and the, and also they were under attack, um, they came right back down, and now it's getting supported. So I'm 44. It's got some tussle in here, but 49 um, would not surprise me for JD. Baba, 103.59 is price target. 103.52 doesn't really matter, but this is absolutely in play. From the Keltner Channel support, 
Very strong bar, no question. Wouldn't surprise me if it softens to 99.70 at some point this week, maybe tomorrow, but that is absolutely bullish, right? Gorgeous above all the indicators that matter. Just hugging that Bollinger Band. Little scoop down, seven and 17 tag, and then pop up. 103 and a half coming really strong. JD, really strong. It was a laggard yesterday. It looked like it was absolutely going to come in. It did. Here's your 4418. Still needs to get above. All right. So JD is absolutely getting chased. Just gorgeous. So Baba was absolutely getting chased. Now it's JD's turn. I really, really, really can't emphasize that enough. That if they say restructure, it's it, they're going to get chased. They just don't. They're not allowed to be big. I don't know what it is, but it definitely has uh, put the bid in Chinese ADRs of size. I'll go take a look and see what others are in the realm, but that's already 2% since the open and really, really looked just like this yesterday. I mean, it is exactly what I expected. This curve, maybe we digest a little bit here. Really, if it, it just looks really good. It's all I can say about that. Baba, already at price target. I mean, perfect price target too. Uh, uh, just that's one, two, three. Literally all time frames. Absolutely should digest here. Should, doesn't mean it will, but absolutely should digest here and then get supported and move higher. EM is right there. 39.64, for example, PDD, it's a China holding. It's on support at 71.27, needs to get back above this trend line, bouncing off the 200 day. It's up 6% since yesterday, three and a half, 3 3.6% since the open. You can see a Bollinger Band squeeze, pop. I have a scan that picks this up and the top five names, I don't think it's related, but in any, in any case, JD, number one. So when I say they're chasing JD, I can see the volume coming into this, this play. In just the last 30 minutes, it's seven, eight million. PDD, four and a half million. 